I mean, there's, there's too many permutations. Let's say we see where that door leads. Still hoping for some treasure, yeah? You and me both. Come back to it. Hey, look, I was right. Baldridge, Bonnie, and Condon. Splendid. But why are they here in the first ah. place? Well, let's find out. Ah, uh, that's right. Condon went by Billy One Hand. Guess he had one made. Look at these stars. They're just like the ones on the Avery and Two sigils in the other room. Yeah, you're right. Okay, wonderful. Huh. Bonnie was a redhead. Yeah. Hmm. Here's another one of those star patterns. Yeah, but this one's different than that first one. Oh, yeah. Good catch. Thank you. <laughs> See, I'm not just a pretty face. What do you think? Those Avery and two sigils. The stars on those lined up, remember? And these line up, too. Hmm. Okay, so those two feet need to, and then this needs to, okay. I think I got it, guys. All right. Back to the puzzle. Okay, feet there. Feet there. They are, uh... You don't know, do you? Hey, there were a lot of pirates out there, you know? So we're stuck. No, we're not stuck. But give me your phone. What, you're gonna phone a friend? Close. Text a brother. I don't know why he made me take the picture. <laughs> That's weird. So interactive. There. Actually, some nice paintings. If we don't find the treasure, maybe we could sell them to a museum. Let's find those star patterns. Okay, just saying. William Mays. American? Yeah, from Rhode Island. Just like Thomas, too. Here we go. Still in the tower? Yeah, I just uh, climbed back down. What's with the picture you just sent? I'll fill you in later. For now, just tell me who's who. Well, the, the dolphins are Richard Warren, the trident is Joseph Farrell, and the two hands with the pearl is William Mays. All right, great. Just stay where there's good reception. I might need your help again. Nathan, did you find the treasure? No, not yet, but I got a mechanism to solve here. I'll let you know. Books, globe. This one guy looks like a scholar. Hey, Richard Want. He was the captain of the Dolphin. Whew. Looks like he and Baldridge were in a best wig competition. Hey, Sully, give me a hand. You got it. Thanks. <sighs> Straight? Who the hell cares? Well, I care. <laughs> Hey, 
God, look at Farrell's face. Looks like he'd rather be anywhere else. Yeah, it looks like the guy from Ghostbusters 2. See it on here. Yeah, that was set up there. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay, so the black is on the right, I'm trying to find that one. shocked you don't know this stuff no i i do i just want to make sure sam knows you know because he yeah. likes to feel useful that's all that's all yeah of course <laughs> shit what happened here the torch probably fell or something come on let's see what's left i don't recognize this guy looks a lot younger than the other pirates that's one Sam texted me back. Now, see there, there Sully? Turns out Perfect. Sam doesn't know everything either. Gloating is unseemly. Yeah, I know. Let's just look at the paintings. Huh. No name. This guy's get-up looks Moorish. Found the stars. Who are you? Huh. Yazid al Basra. Looks Indian. Close. Muggle. Wait, not the muggles, the ones Avery robbed. Honor among thieves. Oh, muggle, yeah. Uh, He's, this is the non wizards well, in London, right? Muggle. Just kidding. Edward England. Stout little fellow. He's the process of elimination. I think he'll be the uh, one that we'll the monkey one. All right, I got the names of two of them. You should still be able to figure this out. All right, so.
this guy. And then this guy. Nice. Okay, so. That's upside down. That's facing that way. Let's start with that. down face that way oh I can access my journal from here um, the other guy is facing that way and then just spin this one to work there you go. Got. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Maybe send it to Sam? Really? Hey, you're the one who <laughs> said he's the pirate expert. Just saying. Okay, that's one. And two. Last one. See what he makes of them. You know, that kind of looks like. Huh. What are you doing? You just took pictures. Hold that. You know, Avery's recruits wouldn't have had so much. Obviously. Hey. Obviously. Oh, one second. Only we'll way for them okay. to get to the next clue. <laughs> These are clues. Let me see. I have to head out after this cutscene. Voila. <laughs> oh, all right. These nice. could be trade winds. Yeah, and these look like latitudes. Yeah. And I would guess that we are packing our bags again, Boyle. What? Rodeo's called the Sentia. No, no, it can't be. Can't be what? So obvious. Nate. Why didn't I see this before? Jesus, enough of the beautiful mind shit. What the hell are you talking just, just, about? Hang on. Sam, did you get the photos? <laughs> Here I am, calling what I thought was Sullivan's phone, and look who picks up. How you been, Nate? Hey, Rafe. <laughs> been a long time. How did you get this number? Sullivan leave it on a cocktail napkin? I wish. That only would have cost me a few shots of rum, right? No, no, I had to pay top dollar to find you guys. Yeah. I hope you didn't spend too much on this whole Avery thing. I hear the competition's fierce. Yeah, you pulled off some clever moves there. But in the end, all that matters is who gets to Avery's treasure first. <laughs> well, that sounds like a bet. Hey, Nate, you know I'm always game, but my partner, well, she prefers to mitigate unnecessary risks. Wow, Rafe Adler, taking orders from somebody else. Oh, how times have changed. Look, Nate, I'm gonna make you a one-time offer here. You drop everything. Go home, live your life. And I'm willing to forgive and forget. For old times' sake. As tempting as that sounds, Rafe. I gotta say, I'm not normally the kind of guy who likes to quit while he's ahead. Okay. Rodeus quote licentia, God and liberty. These are nice pictures, Nate. Good composition. You hacked our phones. You stole my cross. Listen, Nate. If you're half as smart as you think you are, you'll accept my offer. What's it gonna be? Listen, as nice as it's been to catch up with you, I really gotta take this call, so... Well, Nate, one more thing. Nate! What? You, uh, you do realize that your phones are equipped with GPS, right? I'll see you soon, buddy. Shit. Let me guess. Goons with guns on their way here now. Sam, for God and liberty. Nathan, do you understand what this means? Sam, listen to me. Get off the streets right now. And destroy your phone. What's going on? Rafe knows where we are. Right, you gotta find someplace to hide. <laughs> Sam? Sam! Damn it. Hey. 
Hey, I'll buy you a new one. Thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you in the next one.